So this is Act Razor. Please create a name for yourself. Okay. So this was made alongside Soul Blazer. They share the same general HUD and this has they have a lot of the same sound effects and the same general concept. Uh, so Blazer, you're playing as a servant of the Master, and this you're playing as the Master, and in both you're trying to restore the world. Are you awake, Sir Fox? I am the angel sent to help you recover your lost strength. Now all types of monsters are in total control of the Earth. This all came about because of a demon they call Tanzra, the one who sealed your power. In order to restore your power, you will need to rekindle the people's faith in you. But first, let us go down to the earth and destroy all monsters that we may establish a peaceful land for our people to dwell in. Save immediately. And I would change the message speed. Usually I set it to zero. It just instantly appears. But I... <laughs> end up uh, skipping through text and that's fine for like the 30th playthrough of this game but I don't want to just like skip through it when I'm streaming it I mean skip through it accidentally <laughs> Sir Fox if we destroy all monsters in this land people will have people will be able to live here again Sir Fox are you ready yes may luck be with you we're already on top of Fillmore we're gonna start with the like the best music in the game. So your score here actually matters. I don't know how important it is really, but I know that it affects your uh, maximum population in that area. So if I can, I'm going to try to get a high score. I don't know that I've ever reached anywhere near the maximum possible population. It's easier in later areas, I think, because there's a lot more enemies to kill and a lot more score to get. You saw that 500 I picked up. There's more of those, and uh, I'm worth a thousand. So I don't know if this or Soul Blazer came first, or if they were like right around the same time. Like I said, they share a lot of the same assets, so it had to have been about the same time. I've tried the second Act Razor. I don't particularly like it. It takes out all the Sim stuff. It's all Act, and I. It's very arcade. Like it's super difficult. Like quarter munching, except you don't have quarters. You've already paid for the game. I don't like that in uh, console games. You've already paid for the game. I don't think I need that. I don't think it's worth any score. It's just an apple, full health. Okay. Let's try not to get my ass handed to me here. There is a way to cheese this fight. I don't really know what it is. I think it involves getting behind him. Then you can just wail on him at the start. We got this. There we go. I don't know what the... Optimal, optimal score is for the higher population here. I think it's like 12,000. Which I did not get. That's fine. I, I don't... I'm not gonna try to maximize everything. But 
the first two towns, it's a lot harder to do. I should be alright after that. I just probably won't reach the maximum level, which I think is 17. It's an odd number. Anyways, Sir Fox, Fillmore may became. Okay, may became a land where people can live in peace. Our first duty is to protect our people from any monsters. Well, do as you instruct. Please rid the land of these monsters with my arrows. There are several mysterious circles on the ground which represent monsters' lairs. If you direct the people correctly, they will be able to seal the lairs. You will discover the monster that controls this land. If destroyed, control of this land's destiny will return to her people. Alright, my master, let us work towards peace. And then immediately get interrupted by the people. Sir Fox, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. I'm not going to read that message every time. It's identical. Every single town just replaced the town name. My master, we are having a difficult time building homes because of many bushes. Please burn the bushes and guide us as we begin to build our roads. I feel like they could do the burning themselves, but... Actually, I'm not going to do that first. Because you can't open this menu while it's doing a miracle. <laughs> yeah, it even calls them miracles, okay. Oh. So killing all these monsters is actually important. They will try to destroy your town or kill your people. The bats will just straight up steal people from their homes. And the, those uh, blue dragons will destroy the homes. I can't do anything while the town is constructing other than kill the monsters. They also don't uh, respawn. While the town is building. You can see the hourglass up next to to the upper right. Once it hits the bottom, the town will build. There will come a point where it just goes to the bottom and then does nothing. That means I am at the maximum level at that point. No oh, master, we finally mastered the skill of hunting animals. We now have enough confidence to fight monsters. Do OBS. Right. Please lead us to the monsters' lairs. Yeah, I was already doing that. So we don't have to be on top of the lair to do it. The road just has to be right next to it. Sir Fox, our people have sealed the monsters' lair without our help. It appears someone has found something in the monsters' lair. My master, we have found a strange statue. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. And then I, uh... Take an offering. With the following to offer this year, my master, which of our offerings will you accept? Bomb! If you hold this aloft, all flying monsters will be destroyed. This is all we have for this year. Thank you for accepting our humble offering, my master. Yeah, I like that it says it, all monsters that are currently out of their layers just die immediately. Okay, and the the HUD, the upper right corner, the top number is the popula population. The number on the left is the current town, and the number on the right is global. And then below that is SP, that is used to use miracles. A master recently strange things have been happening to me. Many of my thoughts actually came to life in the real world. If these powers are real, I feel the presence of something holy radiating from the woods east of here. So that's over here. I don't know if I have to direct the town to that or just destroy the bushes. I think I have to direct the town to it. And every time the... Uh, population increases, my SP recovers some, and every time I kill a monster, it recovers a little bit. But 
that bat was worth one. I think the dragon is worth two. Yes. Now you see he tried to steal people. And you can see the dragon trying to destroy the homes. You do have a little bit of time to save them. <clears throat> okay. The master of fire has broken out at a home in the north. Please send rain to quench the fire. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna lose those ho those homes probably. Yep, they're gone. I also recover a little bit of health whenever the town builds. I don't think that actually affects anything uh, overall. Like, I get the population back whenever the town builds. Like, I don't think that's a permanent loss. I don't think I get a... I don't think I get, like, a new offering for saving them either. It's basically just, like, tutorials on how your miracles work. Oh, I should be directing the town. Oh, open the... Open the mid there we go. Congratulations, your level has increased. Your okay, level is 2 and your hit points are 9. And by the way, your level will increase again when the total population becomes 200. I don't think this area has any hidden layers. Like, layers can be under trees. There's no hidden layers here. Okay, yeah, they'll seal that layer pretty soon. The civilization level of Fillmore seems to have improved. I don't really know what that means. I think that in means that I can increase my uh, population more. Hit the dragon. Here we go. And if the angel runs out of health, all that means is that I cannot attack. But each time the each time the uh, city grows or even if it's done growing, whenever the year passes, I get a little bit of health back. The Master, I feel the presence of magic power radiating from under the big rock below the precipice southeast of here. Something may be buried there. The Master, please use your powerful lightning to destroy this rock. I think I might get this one immediately. Yep. Sir Fox, destroying that big rock below the precipice has revealed something that may be very useful. Your people have something to say. They always have something to say. Our master, a magic token was found near the precipice to the southeast of here. We present it to you as an offering. Please accept it. The lightning bolt you sent just smashed the huge rock. Sm just smashed a huge rock. I found a magical fire spell underneath the rock. The spell must belong to you, my master. Please accept it as an offering. 
This is all we have for this year. Thank you for accepting our humble offering, my master. So this is the first magic spell. It's okay. Uh, the I think it's the second magic spell is what I'm going to be using the entire game. I think I'm going to take damage here. Nope. Quite a bit more SP now. That would have been nice to have when the fire broke out. We can destroy these rocks here, but I don't think there's anything more to find in this town. deal with that dragon. I, th I think I have to clear all the bat portals before I can even get over there. People learn how to build bridges. What? Oh. Press the wrong button. There was something over here, but they're not finding anything. There we go. I think that will do it. No, Master, we have developed. Nope, that that was not it. Okay, no, Master, we have developed a fishing trade here in Fillmore. A few days ago, a fisherman repairing his boat along the seashore found an unusual scroll. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. So that had nothing to do with him going... Now, they find it. Okay. Now, Master, may I inform you that a scroll was found in the woods east of here. We present it to you as an offering. Please accept our gift. Okay. Now, these are just straight-up magic points. Sir Fox, we've received another magic point. Automatically, I can automatically have magic points now. Come on, hit, hit the. <sighs> That's not what I want. I am not doing a very good job stopping those dragons. Like I said, the places they destroy are just temporary. They will come back. So I can just park myself here and keep killing the dragons. Two foxy people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. It appears someone has found something in the monster's lair. The master, we have found a strange bow and some arrows. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. Thank you, master. We have acquired a new skill and can now build bridges. With a way to cross the river, we can build homes over there. Thank you. 
And I actually want as few bridges as possible for the population. Because, uh, there's a limit to how many objects can be in a... I guess a square. And the bridge counts as one. So I've already got a bridge there. And it only builds along a road. So if I go straight up this way, it will not build roads left and right. Aesthetically, I don't think it looks as good, but it will maximize population. Well, a little bit. <laughs> the score is what really maximizes it. I think. I think we'll stop building. that, and then they will seal this layer, finally. So I'm just gonna sit here and keep killing this dragon. <laughs> Nothing makes time go by any faster. It's, it's not like it's slow, it's just... At this point, I'm just waiting. Another kind of cruel way to increase my level is these... Like you see the houses changed. They're now building these wooden houses instead of these like, hay houses. If I destroy all the hay houses, they will be replaced with wooden houses, and they actually can hold more people. know that I'll do that. Like if I'm... <laughs> well, he went on a journey. Like, like if I'm a, f a few people away from a level, I might. But I don't think it's going to be too important. Now they should finally kill the dragons. No? Okay. Okay, so then I'll just direct them there and then they'll destroy it. So I guess, I guess the development has to be pointing towards the lair to actually do it. Sir Fox, our people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. Sir Fox, the civilization of Fillmore seems to have improved. Sir Fox, I know it's unexpected. Okay. <clears throat> Come, my master, since the last layer has been sealed, something strange has been happening to me. I have the same nightmare every night. In my nightmare, the gruesome monster Minotaurus appears through a big hole to the southeast. He says we will He says he will curse the people with death. Because of my ability to see into the future, I feel as if I'm already afflicted by the monster's curse. Please, my master, go down into the ground and destroy this gruesome monster before something terrible happens. I should actually be saving more often. I think I actually will just start destroying these older homes. Because I am a cruel master. I have enough for an earthquake. It, it would be nice if it would say how much you could, how much it was. I think it's a hundred.
So the rain will put out fires, there's other things it'll do. The sun is going to be used in the next area. And the wind, I don't think it does anything for the town, but it will just blow away all the enemies. They just get... Going off screen, it's not worth the points. An earthquake just wipes out the entire town. Other than doing this, I don't know what other purpose it would have. But there is a couple places where it is actually useful to uh, advance the town. Well, one place to advance the town, one place to find a secret. And that's it for uh, all the old buildings. I don't think that actually... Oh, these are also different. So I think that culture level is what actually increased... It made the uh, buildings different. I don't know if I can select... Yeah, I think I have to be in the Sky Palace to select a magic. So I'm just going to let them... <laughs> rebuild for a little bit. <clears throat> so I think I would actually need to destroy the wooden houses as well. Okay, so that attempt to just not build as many bridges did not succeed. Yeah, you can see the hole he was talking about. So we just got all these ruins to wait for them to refill. I don't think there's anything important about this road going off screen here, but in the next town, it will progress back this way, and then they. I think the next town develops wheat, and when they connect, when you connect the roads, this town gets wheat, and that also improves uh, population. I think I'll get another level with one more growth. No, maybe it was 800. See, there's a lot of waiting in the uh, sim mode. I wonder if that's why they took it out of the second game? I don't know. I. Like, this was always my favorite part of this game. Apparently I'm not alone in that, because a lot of people do not like the second game. Growth is a little slow. I'm getting closer to that level. And I think it cannot. No, okay. Yeah, I can't go any higher. It will go higher um, after I beat the boss. So you've decided to take magical fire. With this magic, you can throw fireballs to the right and left. No, oh, it does show my magic points. It doesn't show the magic points with the angel, but it does show him with the master. Okay, and there it shows my score. So I think I think it's a total score between the two acts, but I'm not 100% on that.
think I can actually destroy the... Nope, I cannot destroy the projectile. So many ways I can. Like them. Not expecting that to be a seeking shot. Thought I missed that jump. Ow. There's a point to jumping over that. Oh, this. Small health. Sort of a mini boss. Just an enemy with a lot of health. But he is required to progress. And here we start to get uh, multiple paths to take. Not just that jump, it could have gone below. Gonna start spitting at me. I think some of them do, some of them don't. Okay, no, then now they're starting to do it. They spit out enemies, I think. Most of the first acts are going to be straightforward, and the second one is going to have multiple paths. I think I'm actually at the boss now. Yes. You don't even need the magic. I'm actually invulnerable when I use it. I might as well use it. Yeah. Master, Fillmore is now rid of all monsters. Sadly, one person was afflicted by the monster's curse and has just passed away. Right before he passed away, he was heard to say, was finally able to be of some help to the people of Fillmore. With the elimination of all monsters, we can now control the town by ourselves. So please visit other lands and make them as peaceful as our town, Fillmore. There are people praising you outside of this shrine. And now they can grow more. Bridges changed too. Maybe not. I don't know. I, was, I wasn't paying too much attention to them. I need 950. if any more improvement here. Unless I wipe out all these older buildings, which I'm not going to do. Yep. That's, just, that's all I can do here now. So you can see the world is... the area has changed. I don't know how accurate it... I mean... Like, you can see the, ro the roofs of these houses are identical to the more advanced ones, so... It's a little generic, but... Okay. Oh, 
this first blood pool is kind of rough. Lots of instant death. It's not like it's difficult to get around. It's just if you make a bad jump or get knocked off of something, you just die. Jerk birds. They are not that bad in this game. I don't think there's any point in going up there other than killing him. I think it was on that enough to just fall. But you don't fall straight down, which can really throw you off too. This is a yeah, already at the boss. Right, right into the hole. Okay. Okay, game. That sets me back oddly far. I'm not gonna go for that score, and I don't need the health. Should not have hit me. So this is the coward's way to fight him. I tried to get him there. Also hit him with magic. That also should not have hit me. Act 2 boss here that's really kind of rough. But I should have better magic for him. Although I might still want to use this on him. Blood pool may became like they had every single town to spell check that. May became a land where people can live in peace. Alright, master, let us work towards peace. 
And just like the last town, ev every town, I believe, you just immediately get a message from him. My master, it has become very difficult trying to build homes because of the marshlands. Would you please use sunlight to dry up the marshlands? So before I actually do that, I'm going to direct them here. This also adds a new monster? Yeah. Those things don't directly affect your population, but they will just straight up destroy fields. how they move when you hit them. I actually don't think I got the bow and arrow offering before I left Filmo. I don't use that too often until later towns. When these devils become more common. It just makes the angels bow and arrow one shot. Well, it doesn't one shot every enemy. There's the last enemy type is a giant skull. <laughs> That will just straight up cause an earthquake, wipe out the entire town, and I think they still take two hits. My master, we have a problem. It's about my oldest son, Teddy. Uh, we're worried that his curious energy may get him into trouble. Well, I know it's nothing to bother you with. I'm sorry for bringing it up such a silly matter. That's going to come up later. And immediately there's only one bat type, only one bat layer, and multiple stronger enemies. No, there's two bat layers. No? No, there's only, there's only one. Yeah, that's right. For some reason I thought the bat layer was over on the right. Trying to keep up with the enemies, I need to destroy more trees and drive the marshes. I actually think I need to go back to Fillmore right away. I am going to do that. appears to be an angel's arrow. That's all it says, okay. My master, this is the bridge building technique that Fillmore is so proud of. With this new skill, people will be able to build homes on the other side of the river. This is all we have for this year. Okay. And go back to Blood Pool. Sir Fox, with this, the people will be able to build bridges. So that's very necessary, because there's hardly any land. Okay. Start drying up some marsh. Exactly. We're 
if I rain somewhere on this lake, there is a one-up. Okay, maybe it's just anywhere. The master, the recent rainfall has caused the lake to rise. The rising water revealed this strange jewel which we found on the lake shore. Please accept it as an offering. Okay, it's not a life, it's health. It's a health point. There's another I can get in Fillmore. I don't remember what I have to do there. I do know how to get the one in the desert town. My master, we now, ho now know how to grow a crop called wheat here in Bloodpool. Please share our newfound crop with lands that cannot produce wheat. I do not need to do that in Fillmore. Because as soon as they connect the town, they will teach it to them. Unfortunately, that does not work with bridges, because I have to have a bridge to actually connect them. I can't actually get over here. I get something later to destroy that one myself. And this is the tile they can't build on. And another thing I can do with enemies is if they go off screen, they just des despawn. It's like if I were attacking that devil near the top of the screen and he went up out of out he went up off the screen, he'd just be gone. But then another one would immediately spawn, so. Our master, our son Teddy has run away from home. We've looked everywhere for him, but we cannot find him. He must be very hungry by now. Oh my master, we have made a loaf of bread. Please find Teddy and give him the bread. Yeah, I see him right there. Master, this is a crop called wheat. A crop of wheat can feed many more people than a crop of corn. Please share our harvest of wheat with other lands so that they may, they too, may feed more people. So they'll just always have wheat. I think I actually have to leave the screen and come back. But I'm pretty sure they just have endless wheat. And I, I talked through that whole message box. Teddy think when he sees the bread his mother baked for him. And almost immediately, thanks to you, my master, our son Teddy is now back home. The loaf of bread reminded him of home and caused him to return. He didn't mean to run away, he was trying to discover how the lake was poisoned. We've always thought of our son as a small child. It was a surprise to see him act as a grown man. According to Teddy, the lake was poisoned because of the closeness to the monster's lair. We present you with this skull that he found in the cave. Please accept it. So I thought this happened a little bit later. That is what I need to destroy that lair down there.
Oh, I need more. I just realized that I have no SP left. I see they have more wheat. According to the fortune teller, this jewel can even destroy Monster Slayer. Please use it on Monster Slayer that we can't seal. Sir Fox, look, something is about to happen to the lake at Blood Fury. See, the real cause for Bloodpool's poison water is the location of the Red Dre red Demon Slayer. Okay. Sure would like to kill that last one. My master, we have begun to use our boat for fishing. Some time ago, while fishing on the lake, we found a magic scroll caught in our dragnet. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. I can't remember if there's, this is the new magic or just a magic point. It is. It is a new magic. So I'll be using this magic for the rest of the game. Although I might still use the fire... I still don't have enough SP. I might still use the fire uh, for the coming boss, although that magic is quite a bit better. It's just the way the boss, at, the boss acts and the room he's in. It's it's not as effective on the next boss. And Fireball will be a little better. Now I need 1,200. Oh, that fully restored my SP. So I can finish clearing up this marsh. Lightning and wind affects enemies. Lightning's really tough to hit them with, though. towns, <clears throat> and they will teach uh, Fillmore how to make wheat. So they thought they converted all of their fields to wheat. 